Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Today is another video and happy Saturday to everyone! Woo! Now, I know this video I'll be making right now is um, a book review about Stars Above. So if you don't know what Stars Above is, this is a sequel from the Lunar Chronicle series. If you're familiar with these books, or like those. Wait, I'll be getting them. I'll be getting them for you guys. Hello, beautiful people. Rise and shine in a world that is gleeful. <laughs> yes. Welcome back to... Okay, guys. Take it from the top. Louder. A one, two. Sachi Cyberi Yuk Chu Channel. What's Yuk Chu Chu? Oh my gosh. This bracelet. If you are familiar with these goodies, we have Chris, Cinder, Winter, and Scarlet. These are actually the four books or the main books in the Lunar Chronicle series. But if you can't get enough of them, you could get their accompanied or their sequel novels such as Stars and Above and the one with Levana's POV. So it's been a year already since I've read all of these four books. And now, um, as you can see from my Jarir bookstore, video here i actually bought and it became available to the store which is the stars and above and i was really curious because i was up to my seat when i read winter and i just couldn't get enough of it i mean like i was just really curious what will happen next most especially to our four couples we have Cinder and Prince Kai, what will happen to them, most especially to Scarlet and Wolf. So I am really excited what will happen and that is why I bought Stars Above. Okay, so as usual, I am going to talk about the synopsis, my likes and dislikes, and of course, my rating. You know, I feel like this is going to be the standard format in every book review that I'm going to have in the future. So Stars and Above is actually a compilation of short stories coming from the backgrounds of our previous characters such as Winter, Chris, Scarlet, and Cinder. So basically, we are going back to the past and trying to figure out what happened, most especially to Michelle Benoit. Um, Michelle is the grandmother of um, Scarlet, wherein we're going to see how she handled Cinder or how she took care of Cinder while she's growing up. As we all know, Cinder is a cyborg. And in the story of Cinder here, we are not really taken from her backstory. Here, we are going to get a full detail on what really happened and how did the grandmother of Scarlet, which is Michelle, took care of Cinder. There are actually more stories, short stories for this one, but what really comes in mind is just seeing this fan art. You know, I'm really proud for the illustrator who made this book, like the designer and everything, because the covers now are much more greater than before, and it's just so engaging. I'm, like, look, it's a huge spoiler in front of you. Look, oh my gosh. <laughs> and here, just flipping out to the first page, we have a fan art here about Scarlett getting married. So I was really hooked up when I saw this, and I can't wait to see what happens so just to be exact we are going to have nine short stories i believe four are coming from the backstories of our previous characters and five short stories that are new so we have the keeper glitches the queen's army Car carswell's guide to being lucky as we all know thorn then after sunshine passes by the prince and the guard the little android the mechanic and finally the epilogue something old and something new so yes at first really i was excited into reading this book because i just want to know how will these four couples end up their love story i just want to know who gets married who got engaged and a lot more things like i need more details marissa mayor so that is why i bought stars and above so before we dive into the details of the book i'm going to tell you guys do you see this meanwhile book right here wait i feel like you have to zoom in yeah these um wait a minute 
if you're actually interested, I am going to sell these books because unfortunately, I will be moving to another country soon. And yeah, just to continue my studies. And if you guys are interested with the whole series, yes, I will be selling. Well, this is a live selling right now. Mine 20, mine 1 KD. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, if you are interested with the whole series of Dork Diaries, which I actually have a video with, you could message me through Instagram. I will be popping up here my Instagram. Or you could message me on Facebook. So, yes. And as Aside from Dark Diaries, I will be also selling a couple of titles such as Ready Player One. Yes, Awake in the World by Jason Gurley. Yeah, I remember this. Oh my gosh. I remember, this was my first. No, this is actually my first book. But yeah, I remember this. Oh. Okay, so if you're interested with Awake in the World, Lazy Days. Um, you know this guys, you know the tea about this. Beauty Sleep. And last but not the least, these two books such as Girl Online on Tour by Zoe Sugg and the next one is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Though so this one is the exclusive collector's edition but I'm going to sell it a decent price. Do not worry because I do have some highlightings in this book. Yeah, because you know what? During the pandemic, I have nothing to do but I have nothing to do and this was just lying around the corner so I decided to expand my vocabulary so that is why I highlighted some of it. So guys, if you are interested with all of the titles that I've mentioned a while ago, um, all you have to do is to PM me through Instagram or on Facebook. And then from there, we can chit chat on um, and discuss about the prices and a lot more details. Okay, now comes the real deal. My likes and dislikes. But for today's video, I am making it as a twist. Let us start first with my dislikes. Okay, so the negative energy will come through me because I actually have a lot to say for stars above. And most likely, these things that, I, that will be coming out from my mouth would be dislikes. <laughs> First, I really did not know that Stars Above is more of um, short stories. I thought um, this book is going to be like the last epilogue to the series wherein we are getting to know what happens next with Cinder and Kai, um, Winter and Justine, and a lot of that. And of course, this one, guys. This one, this picture. I really thought it's more of the details of Scarlet's wedding and Wolf's wedding. Um, but then I came across to these like subdividers. Yes, this book is well published by the way, and I really love it. And yeah, I came across with these subdividers, and then I thought, hmm, I feel like this is not going to be the epilogue of the main series, but rather this is just going to give me boring backstories that we already know. Yes, guys, yes! At first, really, I am not enjoying my read with Stars Above because I feel like this is a redundant book. Why? Because to other short stories, we already know about it. I we already know what happened to Cinder. I don't give a blank <laughs> because I can't curse. I don't give anything for what happened before. Instead, I am all over to the future or to the present more likely so th but then this book gives me like an impression that most of the stories here since of course it's a short story is more likely to focus on the past which i do not like it's starting to become redundant we already know things here we already know what happened to cinder and we also know some of these short stories coming from thorn coming from the wolf and I don't see why uh, Marissa Mayer would have to put those in one book. I feel like mm, it was not necessary at all. And I feel like it's just an accessory, okay? It's an accessory to the book. I mean, it's not necessary. I mean, if you do enjoy being attached again with these characters, you know, because 
um, after reading this series, after reading Lunar Chronicles, I did get attached to um, most of the characters here. But then, um, I just don't need a lot more of their backstories. And that's it, you No. Know? But if you still enjoy their ride and you want to get to know them more, then um, yeah, sure, you can read this book. But, to, but for me, actually, I did not have a good experience reading this because yes i would just see myself frowning at every page i was like oh, oh i feel like this, this has happened before, before. Oh, oh i feel like i, I know, know this, this already, already. Mm, mm, this, this one again? again where's the flavor where's the flavor in this i don't taste anything i don't taste sugar cinnamon nutmeg milk nothing nothing at all it's just <laughs> bland yeah those expressions you guys and it went on the point that i skipped a lot of pages and i went over to the last two short stories which is entitled the mechanic and something old and something new did i skip the mechanic did i skip the oh yeah i did i also did oh uh, what did i skip the mechanic also See, I could not remember anything with this one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I could not remember any single detail with this one except for Cinder's getting engaged and Scarlet's getting married. That's it. Like, that's the most memorable thing. Mm -mm. I started reading this. Pinilit ko talaga. I forced myself to finish this book, but I could not get to finish it. You know, I wish that I could have known in the beginning that this is going to be a compilation of short stories, and so that I wouldn't waste my money at all, and I would just read online what happened really. Okay, so th this rating is no surprise to all of us, to all of you guys who are watching because definitely I will be rating this book a, a 1.5 out of a 5 stars. Yes, that's how much I hate this book. Never in my life I would have rated a book this low. So yes guys, I have to tell you 1.5 were stars and above and I don't like to talk about it. I am done. I am done. No, I'm just kidding. I feel like that's a lot of rage for today's video. That's wow, you guys, there's so much anger and so much chaos with this book. So at least you know my whole honest opinion about it. I mean, like, I am not doing a book review right here just to tell you how much I love it. But of course, there should be a good balance to both of it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And yes, like you mentioned a while ago, if you're interested with those books, do not forget to PM me here or pm me on my facebook account so either way it will work so thank you guys for watching if you're not yet subscribed subscribe now and do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up bye you guys and i'll see you in the next video ready get set and start reading bye